In my heart I have but one desire I lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love. And with your admission that you feel the same, I have reached the goal I'm dreaming of. Believe me, I don't want to set the world on fire. A little flame in your heart Hello, Andy. Can you both come out and play? Well, that's really up to April, isn't it? Yes, well, let's ask her and find out. April, do you want to play with Andy? I'm sorry, Andy. April said she doesn't want to play with you. I didn't hear her say that. I didn't hear anything. Oh, well, I guess you'll just have to scrub out your ears more often, won't you? I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love. And with your admission that you feel the same, I have reached the goal I'm dreaming of. Believe me, I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a little flame. Because I love you. Oh. I spanked you so that you'll remember to always do what Mommy says so that when you grow up, bad things don't happen to you. That you know spanks? Worse than spanks. Worse than when Daddy left us? April, you're a very special girl, and you're going to have very special problems unless you stay away from boys. Even Andy. Mm, especially Andy. Lovely outfit, April. Mom! Oh, April, you can still back out. 
I've been practicing, and I think I've got it under control. Oh, April, your last date was just a year ago. You really think it'll be any different this time? I've got my pulse rate down to 58. 58? Oh, that's very encouraging. I'm sure everything will be just fine. April? What? Did you pack some protection? Mom! April. I won't need it. I trust you. I don't trust him. Good evening, sir. Watch your hands, wait. April? This is your night. Oh, be careful. Here, take my hand. I told you. Whoa, whoa. Are you okay? Yes, I'm fine, thank you. I'm fine. I'm fine, thank you. Yourself? Oh, I'm fine. Okay, okay. Let's go. Like you. No. <laughs> really? Yeah. I think you've both got the same lips. I'm really sorry, did I get you? I'll get I'll get some napkins. Funny little way of saying that I like you. Terrific guy. And and you have a great sense of humor. And and uh and I'm sorry about your pants. And and I'm sorry about about the about the getting your car wet. And I'm sorry about all the all the fires. And and yeah, I know it wasn't your fault. 
actually seem that way. Totaled his Corvette. Well, you're moving up in the world. Last time it was only a Honda. Mom! I'm sorry. <sighs> you're a very brave young lady. You know, Mom, look, when my hormones first acted up and started fires, mm -hmm. you said it was just a phase I was going through, like pimples or chap lips or something. Chap lips? You know what I mean. I go out on dates, and the only men who see me more than once are firemen. <laughs> oh. What am I supposed to do? Spend my whole life at home with you? Give me your other foot, dear. I'll get better. Yes. I just need a little more experience. Ah, sweetheart, if you get much more experience, you're liable to burn up the whole town. Mom! I'm sorry, April. <sighs> you know, dear, there's a positive side to this. What? We have each other. I know. Center for all your flammable and explosive needs. Please leave a message after the... Sorry, but I didn't catch your name. That's correct. I'm Ellen. Helen? Ellen, with an E. Helen would be an absurd name for a guy. Goodbye, Helen. That's Ellen. Take better care of yourself. Uh, my therapist says that if you want to make friends, you've got to take chances. <laughs> Thank you, Helen. That's Ellen. Uh, I'm sorry, Ellen. Call me! Oops.
You know, I used to have a ring just like that. Huh. Where'd you get it? I don't know. I've had it as long as I can remember. Andy? April. Are you April's mom? What do you think, Andy? Yes. That's a very good guess, Andy. I moved back. Mm, I can see that. I'm up for a ping pong scholarship to play in China. Well, I'm sure your mother's very, very proud of you. Can I talk to April? Well, that's really up to April, isn't it? Let's ask her and find out. April? Do you want to play with Andy? April? Hi. <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourself. I give up. Why are we standing in the middle of a sandbox? It's a safe place. A safe place. Do you have a girlfriend? You mean right at the moment? Well, uh, not exactly. Do you have a boyfriend? Well, no one extra special. We used to have something pretty special. You used to be my best friend. You used to be mine. I'll show you. Clear the sandbox. You too. Are those your kids? Do it. Do it. You're gonna need time. What? Hey, hey, if it's right, it's right. You know, you know what I mean? <gasps> now you've done it.
I'll be right back. Oh! Jeez! I got... Oh! Oh, oh you poor dear! Oh. oh! Oh! Oh, come on. Oh. Up we go! Oh! What are you doing here? Oh, oh. oh. what are you doing here? Silly me, I overbait. Oh, that's very thoughtful of you. Uh, I'll just go and put these in the kitchen. Sure. You know, these are the same oatmeal raisin cookies you used to give me in April when we were little. Uh, I need my pants. Sit down, Andy. Yeah, I, I need my pants. Sit! But we might have a little chat. Can I just have my pants? No. Why not? So how does it feel? What do you mean, how does it feel? How does it feel to sit in front of someone's mom in your underwear? I don't believe this is happening to me. How does it feel? What do you mean, how does it feel? How would you like to sit in front of me in your underwear? Don't get fresh with me, young man. <laughs> do you feel vulnerable? Yeah. Do you feel like any moment something bad could happen? <sighs> that you're not really in control of anything? What are you talking about? I'm talking about how April feels every time she's with you. Scared, vulnerable, out of control, always in danger. Because she's a fire girl? That's right, Andy. Mrs. Flowers? Yes. I don't think April's a fire girl. You don't? No. I think someone's secretly starting those fires on purpose to make April dump me. Oh, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Whoa. I knew you'd figure it out sooner or later. You mean I'm right? I'm afraid so, Andy. Oh, oh our poor little April. 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 Our little April has a split personality. Excuse me? April has a personality split. I thought you knew. No! Yes, the poor girl has two people inside of her. The good April is the April that likes you, and the other April, the, the, the bad one, hates men and secretly starts fires to keep them away from the good April. And, the, of course, the good April knows nothing about this. April's a lunatic? And you expect me to believe that? You don't really believe she starts fires with her, with her hormones, do you? I've been to doctors before, and they just look at me like I'm crazy. That's what we're here to find out. Dr. Gordon, 247. Dr. Gordon, You really think I have split personality? April. April. What? What? That's not funny. I'm sorry. I don't think you have a split personality. But I have another theory. I just want to make sure. What theory? I can't tell you without proof. You know, Rudy, I finally figured it out, man. What's that, Nikki? What's wrong with our lives? We don't have fun anymore, man. Well, do you think we should go back to hacking up sides of beef? Hey, man. You know, we had some pretty good times in the slaughterhouse. Yeah, we sure did, didn't we, man? Remember what I told that supervisor he could do with that polar sausage? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. 
no, no, see, man. You not listening. Yeah, yeah, right. I'm listening, all right. No, no. Right. Right. Can you believe him? Now, see, you, you don't understand, man. Ping pong is more than a game. It's an art form, man. No. Yeah. Oh, is that right? Yeah, yeah, man. You just listen to me now. You got. I don't believe it, man. Yes, you do, man. You gotta come out. April, uh, wait here, man. I'll be right back. Hey, 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 oh, wait up, up, wait up! Hi! When you get mad and start those fires, it's just your way of saying that you're lonely and need a friend. I know, I know, I know. And if you want to make friends, you've, you've got, got to, to take, take chances. chances. I know, I know. Hey! Maybe sometime me and you could get together and have a barbecue. You know, like buddies. Goodbye, Helen. That's Ellen! Excuse me. I'm sorry, but I didn't catch your name. I'm April. I'm Ellen. Ellen? That's... That's a beautiful name. Really? You like it? Well, yes. It's very... <sighs> lyrical. It was my father's name. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Now just calm down. Take it like a man. Yeah, like a man. Oh, don't forget the message. Oh yeah, oh yeah, the message. This is April's way of saying, I love you. <laughs> hey look, let's get this over with. Rudy, get the blade. Come on. Come on, come on. Tell me your problem. No, really, I just can't. All right, I'll tell you mine first. I start fires. You too? <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> there, there, that wasn't so bad, was it? The first one's always a little scary. Now, we're gonna leave the left one the way it is. Now, that's for contrast. Yeah, contrast. <laughs> oh, you like that one? Yeah, I like it. <laughs> Maybe sometime we could go out and start fires together. Well, that's sweet, but I'm trying to quit. Me too. April? Well, see you around. Really? April. April. April Flowers, please report to room eight. Oh my God! <laughs> Andy! <laughs> but why would I shave your leg? I don't know. Same reason you start fires, to scare me away. Oh, you really believe that? Boy, you are so gullible. Oh, what, you think maybe I'm crazy? I shaved myself? Andy. Andy. What? What? That's not funny. I'm sorry. What are you doing? No matches, no lighter fluid, no hormones. I'll get a comb. What are you doing in my bathroom? Silly me, I overbaked again. Could you please hand me a towel? I'm not here to talk about towels, Andy. Jesus, I don't believe this. 
Andy, I know how badly you want to play ping pong in China. Why won't you hand me my towel? It costs a lot of money to go to China, probably more than you have. Uh-huh. April's grandmother left us a small nest egg. Excuse me, can I ask you a question? And I'm prepared to write you a check for $5,000 to help your career. Of course, you'll have to forget about April. Just one question. Do we have this understanding? May I ask you a question, please? Of course, Andy, what is it? Did you set me up in the hospital to have my leg shaved? Yes, I did. I paid those gentlemen to remove the hair from your leg. Oh! oh. That's... that's... that's despicable! Well, I apologize, Andy. April doesn't have a split personality. Correct. You made up the story about April being a lunatic. Right again. And you're the one who's been starting all those fires. Don't be ridiculous. But you just said. I said I wanted to scare you away from April. I didn't want to see either of you get hurt. I figured it would be easier for you to accept April's fire problem if you thought it was psychological. You didn't start all those fires? Dear boy, I'm trying to stop them. <laughs> Andy? <laughs> I wouldn't do that if I were you, Andy. Yeah, right. What about China? I think I'll just wait for my ping pong scholarship to come through. I'm proud of you, Andy. Huh? It was just my way of testing your feelings for April. You're a fine young man. A what? A good man, Andy. Andy, where did you get this shaving cream? I just bought it. Oh, do you know what depilatory means? It's shaving cream for legs. Andy, can you say depilatory? Depilatory. Very good. Any device or substance used to remove hair. Shaving cream. Oh, oh my God! That's right. Uh, two cruise tickets. Uh, uh, tomorrow, uh, the 4th of July. Huh? Uh, no, uh, the Virgin Islands. Just one way. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye. Oh. Andy. I'm here to... You poor boy, I am so sorry about that. I really don't want to talk about it. Control. Control. Ah. Oh. You should put some lotion on it so you don't get a rash. Cookies? No cookies. Oh. Can I get you something cold? Hi, Andy. Oh. Did you like ice? Took an ice bath. Baby. 
Kiss me. Oh, you <laughs> big goof. Please, oh, come on. Let's get you into a hot tub. We'll talk about this later. <sighs> Please. April, I... April, no. Uh, not, not in the house, April. Uh, not in the house, April. <laughs> it worked! It worked! I froze it away! Mom! In a second! Take Fluffy to the vet. You two stay here and frolic. Oh! April, this is nuts! What's wrong? What are you doing? Sorry, Fluffy. I'm sorry you got your neck burnt. And I'm real sorry the vet made you wear this stupid collar. And I'm real sorry I'll never see you again. Hey, I know you don't owe me any favors, but would you give this to April? Huh? Would you give this to her? Wow, you sure heal fast. Whoa. Andy, what are you doing here? Silly me. I overbaked. Give me my robe. I'm not here to talk about robes. Let me help you with that. Andy. Oh, my. <laughs> oh. You really should put some lotion on that. <clears throat> Henry, I think we should call the police. All right, dear. Sit. I thought we might have a little chat. Cookie. Thank you. D hmm. Still playing with your food, are you? You've got to tell her the truth. I saw Fluffy. He's not burned. Are you going to tell her the truth? Or do you want April to hear it from me first? Andy, you don't understand. April must never know I started those fires. She would hate me for the rest of my life. Are you going to tell her? Or does she hear it from me first? All right. I'll tell her. It's all right. Thank God. 
glad you're here. He's up there. Freeze! Ah! Don't move! Ah! Ah! This isn't what it looks like. It sure looks like it to me. Oh! 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 Right, Dick. It's not crazy. I can explain! Shut up, buttface. Andy. April! What are you doing here with your... I'm here to see your mother! Oh, you and Mom, what are you saying? Me and Mom? Please, everyone. It's all right. I can explain. All right, Andy. The truth. <sighs> April, dear. Please, come sit down. Mom, what is it? Please, ma'am. Tell us what happened in your own words. I'm not sure exactly why he did it. Did what? Did what? Did what? It was just after my shower. Um, I came into the bedroom to get my robe, and I saw him standing there. And then he threw all my clothes out the window and watched me. Andy! I wasn't watching her. I just didn't want her to put her clothes on. And then he pulled down his pants and... He took my skin lotion and put it all over his... below his waist. You mean on his... <clears throat> and then, while he watched me, he, he... he took that razor and shaved all the hair off of his... hoo-hoo. Oh, Andy, how could you? I did it with Nair. Forget I said that. All right, come on. Let's examine the evidence, Tracy. Oh. Smooth as ping pong balls. Come on, little shaver. Let's go. No! Oh, hold it! April, I didn't want to be the one to have to tell you this, but your mother's been lying to you about the fires. I can prove it. Fluffy's not burned. This is fake. Just like everything else. It, it's shoe polish or something. Give me my cat. What did he do to the cat? I like cats. You like sheep? Not in the same way. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Mom. I didn't know he was a pervert. April, your mother admitted the whole thing. I've got her confession on tape. Listen. Andy, shut up. I saw you. No, 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 wait, it's just... <laughs> Touch me again and I'll break it off. You're beautiful when you're angry. <laughs> Clowning around. Lock up. Excuse me. I'm sorry, but I didn't catch your name. I'm Andy. I'm Ellen. Don't turn your back on him. Hey, Helen, come over here. Excuse me. That's Ellen. Ellen? Ellen! I get really stressed out sometimes. Well, <clears throat> that's it. We're all set for our big adventure. Forgot one thing. What's that, honey? Forgotten about Andy. I was trying to get a girl's address from my therapist. You got arrested for that? I set his couch on fire. Oh. Must be some girl. Women. Can't live with them. Can't burn him.
She's leaving tonight. I'll never see her again, and she thinks I'm a pervert. That's terrible. If only there was some way I could get out of here. Make her understand. You really love this girl, don't you? I guess so. I know exactly how you feel. <laughs> oh, that's for me! I've got a great lawyer. Oh. Good luck with your girl. Hey, good luck with your girl. <laughs> Thanks. Take care, buddy. Buddy? Open! All right, Ellen, you're out of here. Don't tell me. Let me guess. You must be Ellen. Oh, that's right. This is my good buddy, Ellen. Go get her, buddy. Lock up! Safe here. Safe from what, Andy? April, get down from there this instant. Stay. April, I'm not going to tell you again. I love you. Come on, honey. We've got a boat to catch. Mom? There's a fire girl in your family, but it's not you. April, if Andy wants to go up in flames, you don't have to help him. You don't want that on your there won't be any fire unless you start it. Kiss me. April? I don't think your mom would fry me. Mom would have done the same. Are you all right? Oh. Oh, nothing that little salt air wouldn't cure. Oh, thank you. Thank you for saving me. Thanks for being my mom. Here. What have you got there, dear? Looks like the thing for the TV. Give me this. I'm, may I see this? That's it! Honey, come on, your hormones are acting up. Yes! Yes!
Mrs. Flowers, April and I have had a long talk, and we've decided, considering the situation, that April should move away with me. Move? It would be best. April? I understand. My ping pong scholarship came through. I'll be playing in China and also living there for a while with April. China? My baby's moving to China? You can keep Fluffy here. They eat cats in China. April? I guess it's time you learned the truth. What truth? The truth. <laughs> Cookie? Truth, 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 the truth. <laughs> Honey, you remember reading about that horrible person who... who who went to supermarkets and put poison in aspen bottles? Uh-huh. Well, that's not a new crime. It, it happened 13 years ago in a, in a little grocery store just a few blocks from here. Only that time, the, the poison wasn't put in aspen. It was put in vanilla extract. What kind of poison? Oh, a very, very, very rare, rare substance. Called... Mini flam. Mini flam? Mm -hmm. uh, it's a smaller, more condensed version of nitroglycerin. Mini flam? They caught the guy who did it and recalled all the vanilla extract except for one bottle purchased by a young mother who used it in a <coughs> batch of oatmeal raisin cookies. That's my favorite. And only one person ate those, those explosive mini flam cookies. Beautiful little five-year-old girl. Don't listen to her. Shh. April. Shh. A few days later, the young mother read about the poison vanilla extract and rushed her daughter to the hospital to have her stomach pumped, but it was too late. The explosive mini flam compound had already metabolized into the little girl's body. Wow. Give me a break. The doctor said the little girl could lead an active, almost normal life until she grew up. What happens when she grows up? April. Well, April, that's hard to explain without a lot of medical mumbo jumbo. You're talking about me, aren't you? Here we go. But because of the way girls are built and the explosive nature of, of mini flam, if the little girl with this special problem ever uh, gets together with a boy, the resulting uh, friction and heat could create a critical temperature imbalance in the girl. <laughs> and... Uh, no. <laughs> Don't tell me. Let me guess. If I ever make love, I'll explode. And that's why I pulled this fire caper to keep you away from boys so that I wouldn't lose you. Oh. oh. I hope you'll forgive me, April. Mini flam? Andy, please, don't rub it in. You know she's lying. She knows you're lying. April, April, there is only one way to prove your mother wrong. April, we have to talk. April?
Are you sure about this? What's the matter? You don't really think I'll explode, do you? <laughs> no. No, of course not. Respond to break in at Ted's Flower and Tuxedo Shop. That's right, let's go. If you want to make friends, you've got to. Take chances. not too late to back out. Right. Alan, what are you doing here? 
I just wanted to wish you and your boyfriend good luck. They're lovely. Uh, how did you know? Tell your mother to drop dead. I'd better go. Okay, they're sweet. That was sweet. Thank you again. What's this all about? Friend gave him to me. You have to meet him sometime. I've got a friend I want you to meet right now. <laughs> Know her too? She's my daughter! Oops. Hey! April! There's a bomb in there! You really will explode! We're not that gullible! I love you, April Flowers. I love you, Andy Muckler. <laughs> oh, Andy. Oh, April. Oh, no. Oh, yes. Oh, God. Oh, baby. April? April. April. Honey, sweetheart. Don't move. Okay. Congratulations. You won. Your baby will never leave you again. Oh. Oh. I was only kidding. I, I, I'm sorry. I Mom, 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 it's me, April. Look, I'm, I'm okay, see? I'm fine. I was just trying to get even for all the jokes you played on me, Mom. I love you, Mom. You can't die. That's really up to God, isn't it? No, don't say that. You'll be fine. April, you've got to remember one thing. Yes, Mom. You've got to remember that you can't fool Mom. What? She did it again. You can't fool Mom. You were joking me again. You started it. I thought I'd lost you. I thought I'd lost you. Well, how could you... How could you tell me such incredible lies? How could you do such terrible things to me? How could you destroy my life? I'm your mother.
Now that you're married, I guess you'll be wanting old mom to do some babysitting for you. Well, we decided not to have any kids. No grandchildren. Being a mom is just too hard. No grandchildren. No grandchildren. Never. Never. <laughs>